How would you assess the play of the other tight ends so far? Well, I mean, I think everybody's doing well. You know, when, when their number gets called, they're out there making, you know, blocking their assignments, going downfield, catching balls. And I think that's been evident here over the first couple games where you see, you know, it's not one tight end catching all the balls. It's pretty even. And, you know, when guys do catch it, they get some yards after the catch. And, you know, I think they're becoming a threat. Now, if I'm not mistaken, your family was here uh, this past weekend? So um, is that like a tradition every year they come down for one game or? No, uh, no, my, my family hasn't missed a game in, mm -hmm. in college. But what it was is my hometown. I come from a fairly small hometown. So every year, one game out of the year, they bring charter buses down and everybody from back home jumps on the bus and comes down and takes in the game. So how do you like, what was your feelings about that? That they uh, can do that. It's always great when you have people that I grew up around. Um, you know, my, my town is like a thousand people, so I knew pretty much everybody growing up. And it's just those people that supported me in, you know, youth baseball through the years up into high school. And now they're supporting me here in college. And there's a big following from back home. And it's just great that they can come down and take it again. Okay, great. And um, something that people might not be able to see, but I think the, a lot of success in the offense has been a lot to do with the blocking and the. Uh, You've, you've looked great through the first four games. Uh, what have you had to say about improvements in the offseason to now? I mean, I think, you know, everybody's goal is to improve in the offseason. Coming off of last year, we definitely had plenty of areas to improve in, so that was definitely a focal point, you know, throughout the offseason, the winter, and the spring ball, and then coming into the summer, we knew what we had to get better at, and, the, you know, that was our goals, and I think uh, we everybody did pretty good at reaching those goals. Okay, now, uh, first MAC game for you guys this year. Uh, what are you guys looking to prove? Like, what initial mark are you guys looking to make? I mean, we take the games one at a time, so obviously get the win. You know, that's, that's the goal for the week, and you know, I think, you know, I think we've been pretty balanced so far through the first four games as far as running and passing goes, and you know, I think uh, the games get fun when you can go out and dominate you know, both areas, and special teams, throw that in there, and then when the defense plays well, you know, that just gives us more opportunities to score. Now Massachusetts, they're 0-4. So how are you guys going to avoid taking that? I know you guys say like you take one game at a time and all, but um, how, like they're they're looking out to prove themselves in the MAC this year because this is their first season in like competing at that level. So um, how are you guys going to uh, approach facing a team like that? I mean, I, you hate to hear it, but it's the same mm -hmm. every week. It's one and zero every week, and you know we really we prepare no different every week. You know, I think a lot of people outside the program think, oh, you know, they're looking forward or they're looking ahead to another game, but you know, to be honest, we don't. All we watch is the opponent film for this week, and we watch what we need to do to get better. And then, you know, we go play the game on Saturday, come back on Sunday, and we focus on the next team. So, you know, when we say one and zero, or you know, we we take one point or an opponent one at a time. I mean, honestly, that's what we do. Okay, now last question. You said uh, that you guys take like one opponent at a time, and then you watch the film of that opponent that week. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things that you picked on about the, picked up on about the Minutemen this week? I mean, I think they're a physical group. You know, they're out there. They're they're trying to win ball games, and I, they're being competitive. And last week against Miami, I thought they showed some real improvement. And that's one thing. You know, as a football team, you look look to improve each week. And I can definitely, you know, I think they can definitely say that they've improved from week one to week four. They've improved little by little every week. And I think they really started to put things together against Miami last week. And they had a ball game with Miami. And you know, I think they're looking to improve improve again this week. And you know, what better way? to show their improvement, their thinking is to get a win over us. So, you know, but we got to go in there and play our kind of football and, you know, control the game from the start to the end of the fourth quarter. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Jordan. Right, thank you.